Well, there's, there's heavy competition in this, in this industry. Um, I don't think that there is any industry where there's no heavy competition. Um, but if you, if you know your market and you know the, 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 the need of your customer and you can satisfy this need, um, you, you, you're a good partner for your customer. And, and we are the extended purchasing arm of many of our customers. They, they give us an assignment and say, I need this for my, for my, uh, for my machinery or for my, for, for my plan. Can you help me find it? Can you help? find a solution for this problem. And, and if, you, if you're able to, to find the solutions and help your customer, then of course there's a need for it. We have like four legs in our company. We supply uh, products to the label printers in the Scandinavian countries. We supply products to the newspaper industry and the magazine printing industry, to packaging printers, and the commercial uh, offset printers. So everybody that you're contacting to have something printed, we supply them. For instance, on the label market, we have a large range of, of uh, printing inks. For the newspaper markets, we do a lot of stitching wire and, and uh, different kinds of chemicals you use in the printing process. Uh, stackers and, and uh, palletizing robots, we, we supply that to the, uh, to the newspaper market and to the magazine printers, but they don't use that in the, in the label industry. So there's different products for each uh, leg in the industry. It's extremely important for us to have our own warehouse. That means that we can bring the products day-to-day uh, to, -day to our customers uh, and, and faster if it's important. And there's, there's lots of emergencies uh, in this industry. Yesterday evening while I was at home eating dinner, about half past seven, the telephone called and there was a customer saying, uh, I ran out of uh, something, can we please come? And of course they could. Um, so the majority of our products, they go directly from the, the producers in Europe uh, to the customers. That's the, the big bulk of, 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 um, of what we sell. Uh, but the warehouse is extremely important to supply day to day. We represent machinery and consumables that will be printing inks from uh, international producers like Pulse in the UK. We represent post press equipment, which is like Rima system in, in Germany that uh, uh, does stackers that will uh, stack the products once they're printed and folded. Uh, that will be blankets that you use in the printing press to transfer the ink to the paper. Uh, all sorts of different things that you use in the printing industry to produce labels, books, magazines, newspapers, packaging, um, that sort of thing. We, we, we know that the packaging and, and labels, they are, they are there and they will continue to be there in the, in the future. We also see that the, the circulation on, on magazines and newspapers drop dramatically. Uh, so there's a much less paper used in, in, uh, in our countries. We know in other parts of the world the, the circulations are growing, but in, in Europe uh, and specific in Scandinavia, that's not the case. Uh, so we can see that it's important to have more legs in the industry. It's very important that we as an agent are here and, and know the industry, know each customer, and know each printing house, so we know what, what uh, kind of needs they have. So we're the link between the world and, and the Scandinavian princes. Digital is uh, a, a growing part of, uh, of the industry and of our market. We supply uh, Memjet technology by the company uh, Colodyne in the US, and that's uh, water-based inkjet uh, label printing systems printing machines and that is also a kind of machinery that you can take this inkjet printer and mount it onto an existing press. So you have your old uh, real handling system, um, your register control system and then you mount a digital press on top of your press so you have a, 
that's that's cool equipment so you can do that and that also means that we have to to stock uh, different types of products uh, inkjet uh, dye water-based dye um, to supply this type of industry so color dyne is an important uh, corporation an important partner for us uh, also because this water-based uh, technology this water-based inkjet is that's a good suit for the uh, fit for the future By the look of it, um, uh, the customer gets the same because water-based memjet or inkjet technology has the, the appearance of flex or print. So a lot of printers, they take these, uh, these samples that are inkjet printed and say, wow, that's the best I've seen. Um, if you do long runs, conventional flex or printing is still better, but there's lots more change over time in, in the conventional uh, printing. So digital for smaller jobs, for for um, jobs where you have to have some, some variations, it's uh, really important to... But, but, but I mean, there's a market for the conventional and there's a market for the, for the digital, but the digital is growing fast. There's nothing that's easy in this industry, I'd say, but, but uh, we are attractive to the, to the market as a, as a distributor and agent in, in Scandinavia because we have the skills we have and we have the knowledge to the market. So there's a lot of international producers who are asking us to represent them and help them penetrate the market. So we spend quite a lot of time to, to say no to people and we're very spoiled. So we, we like to, to pick point the products that we think uh, will fit our market and fit our customers. And we think that there are, there's lots of world champions in the market. You know, there's a, somebody that's really, really good at, at, at chemistry for the printing press, and there's somebody really good at making opaque whites for labels, or somebody that's really good at making palletizing robots, but they are not everybody the world champions at, at the same thing. So we need to, to, to pick uh, the, the best products at uh, the different suppliers and put that into a package that we can supply to our customers. Absolutely, top of the line. Absolutely, top of the line. Uh, that's building a brand on our own, yeah. And because we think that, that, that um, like I said before, that there's lots of world champions and we would like to take some of these products from each, uh, um, some of the top products from, from the different suppliers and bring them to the market under our own label. Yeah. Bringing the best product to the market, that's essential. The selling point is the knowledge, I think. Uh, the knowledge is extremely important. We all, uh, we all in, in this company have a, a strong technical background, so we know the, 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 the problems that are out there. Um, so by that, we, we find the right package and the right solutions for them. Oh, we have many legs in the industry. Um, we um, move in the different legs of this industry. That's also very unusual. So we have knowledge from each industry, and we can transfer this knowledge from label printers to, to commercial heat set printers and, and, and the other way around. So that's transfer of knowledge. Also in, in our relationship with the international manufacturers is really important. We had a customer with a brand new UV flexor machine, really top of the line machine, and they had extremely problems making this run. Uh, they, they printed on metallized foil and they were making uh, wrap around labels for, 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 for breweries. And when they used an, an opaque white on, on this metallized foil, it, it, uh, it, it cured too fast, so there was a lot of tension in the foil and it made curling and made it impossible to, to, uh, to run at full speed at the, at the breweries. And um, this specific customer, we go in and, and uh, offer another type of opaque white that, that cures much slower than the one that they were using. And by curing slower, it doesn't make this tension, doesn't create this tension in, uh, in the metallized foil. So the foil, there's no curling, there's no tension and everything is, is fine. That, that's the kind of things that we, we like to, to, uh, to solve. That's the line, line of problems that we normally work with. Our aim is to make our customers produce better and, and have a higher performance on the machines. So transfer of, of knowledge is so, so important. Everybody knows it's very expensive to produce in Denmark, so we need to produce smarter. And if we can ex 
if we can increase the machine speed just by 10%, uh, there's a lot of, of, of winning in that. And um, keeping the jobs in Denmark is also very important, absolutely. I think there's no doubt that the, that the, the industry is going more and more digital. We can see that everywhere. And uh, I still think that for many years we will have printed, uh, printed stuff uh, that will be labels and packaging because it's very difficult to see that we shouldn't have uh, labels on the bottles and on, on the shelves in the supermarket and, and we need to be able to, uh, to have some packaging uh, to, uh, to wrap, around, uh, wrap around the products. Uh, and and in, in our industry, I think the most important thing that we, that we have is to be able to follow the market and, and, and help the customers see what is uh, what's important for them to know uh, and, and offer them solutions so they can stay in the industry and stay, um, stay alive. Really. Well, the best advice I think I can give is uh, that he should s sit down and, and close the eyes and uh, imagine what he would need 10 years from now, what would be out in the world uh, 10 years from now and that move in that direction. So if he think that there will be lots of newspapers in 10, year, in 10 years from now, then he should move in that direction. If you think uh, labels and, and more personal items, uh, printed items are in the future, then that's the way he should move. But um, I think there's, there's still uh, room for, for both, but it's a matter of where you want to be uh, the next in, or in 10 years or in the future. Where do you think the market is? And then follow that and just, I mean, if you just sit and don't do anything, sit, sit and wait, um, then you're lost in the game, I think.